Hello beautiful souls, welcome to Artful Manifesting. In today's Timeless Pick a Card reading, we are finding out what area of your life is expanding next. And to do that, I'm going to be drawing three cards from here for you to choose from. I do invite you to invite your own guides to connect with you now and assist you in interpreting the messages I share, the sounds you hear, the images you see. So you may hear my phone go off or my computer ding, somebody may come to my door, my dogs might shuffle around. All of that may be clues and have specific meaning to you even if I don't mention them. All right, let's see what we have here. In what area of life will you be expanding next? I feel this one. Balance yourself. Be thankful. And family connections. And above card number one, I have a piece of Dragonstone. And for card number two, we have Dalmatian Jasper. And for card number three, we have Amazonite. So let your intuition be your guide and whatever card or stone you're most drawn to is probably the reading meant for you. And you'll find a link to that reading in the description box below. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You chose the Dragonstone, which promotes courage, creativity, willpower, strength. It assists you in working towards your big goals. And you also chose the card Balance Yourself, and it says Direction, Growth, Life Stages. So let's see how this pertains to the rest of your message. And what area of life is pile number one expanding right now? You know what, two came out, I'm gonna draw two. We shall see. What area of life is expanding? I feel like the cards are just leaping out. So it must be very energetic. I mean, maybe it's fast growth. I do put the names of the of the cards I use in the description box below if that's something you're interested in. We have Void Moon, Do Nothing, Wow, and Howl at the Moon, Process Your Feelings. We also have The Mouse and Buttercup. 
innocence and it's the number zero. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. And spring, see your seeds grow. All right, very positive. In what area of life is pile number one experiencing growth at this time? All right, we have Ace of Wands, very nice. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Chalices. And five of Athens. The Ace of Wands is the, the start of a new career or a new phase in your career. Uh, it can also have to do with studies if you're a student and it's creative. And it's interesting that right next to the Ace of Wands you have the Page of Pentacles where we see this young person being creative. They've crafted their own tools that they're using to create their magic. So the Page of Pentacles is about pursuing interest for financial gain, possibly. So perhaps this has something to do with the start of your new phase in your career or studies. So for some of you, it is studies, learning, uh, whether that is learning on your own through an apprenticeship or uh, school. There's also a possibility of a scholarship with the Page of Pentacles. And there's also a possibility of a scholarship with the Eight of Chalices. Uh, so for some of you, if you are, if that's something you're pursuing, that's two cards that indicate a scholarship is likely. The Eight of Chalices speaks of work also. So definitely it seems that the area of your life that's growing is your career, your interest, your learning craftsmanship. Um, but this card is about traveling for work. So whether that's a commute or moving to another location because of an opportunity, whether that opportunity is a job or a, a class, an education, um, it could also be that... Um, you know, you go from being, let's, this is just an example. If you go from being the manager of a location to a regional manager, and now because you're a regional manager, you travel to multiple locations. 
So travel could be part of your weekly routine or daily routine, or it could be the change in location. Very exciting. I mean, these. this is very positive. Um, I see a lot of creativity and growth and you enjoying what you're working on or learning. The Five of Athens is about someone presenting or selling their craftsmanship to someone who doesn't appreciate it. And so perhaps that was you in the past and now you are pursuing something that um, will be appreciated. We, ha we have here the peacock, which is about, you know, shredding your stuff, um, confidence, showing off your skills, your craftsmanship. So I see that you're very talented. You are, uh, you have a refined craft craftsmanship and you continue to grow and refine that craftsmanship. So perhaps the travel is uh, going somewhere where it would be appreciated or traveling to maybe you're so, you are some kind of artist and you're traveling to an art expo or exposition in another city. Let's look at the rest of your cards. With Howl at the Moon, process your feelings. It, you know, there is literally a message uh, of howling at the moon, uh, opening up your throat chakra, singing, enjoying music, um, and of course, processing your feelings, which music will help you to do. But perhaps some of you are singers. Um, and maybe there is something that is has given you um, pause, you know, a need to fear risk. And that's what you need to process is uh, what what's holding you back because you know with the ace of wands it's like a gift of from the universe it's an opportunity and the page of pentacles is you know the start of something and it's also a message um so i feel that with these two cards and void do nothing i feel like this it's you're not really having to do anything to receive this opportunity. It's this opportunity is being is being given to you based on what you've done in the past. But perhaps for some of you, when you receive the opportunity, you may feel apprehensive. And um, with the mouse and buttercup innocence this i pointed out that this was zero because it's like the full card it's taking a leap of faith and having that childlike innocence that trust that everything is going to work out so even if you don't know you know every uh aspect of what's going to happen what you'll need to do, you will learn it on the way, which is what exactly what this card, Panther, Spirit, Reclaim Your Power, speaks of. Card number 44, if that number is significant to you. Uh, this card speaks about not needing to have all the answers or not waiting for the moment where there are zero risk because that moment is never going to come. There's always going to be risk. And just to know that you have the adaptability to adjust and learn and grow along this path, which is exactly what these cards up here are talking about. I love how 
the message just all goes together. And then you have spring, see your seeds grow, which again, you have this rabbit, which is a sign of luck, which I think is a further validation that this is an opportunity that's coming to you. It's something that's going to be offered to you. Um, or it's something that you've already received in one way or another, whether it was an idea or somebody actually giving this to you. See your seeds grow. It's like right now the time is right, the soil is fertile, and things that you started this time are going to grow. There's also a message about this change changing your identity so for example one thing could be let's say you get a scholarship to finish your uh, degree and then you become you you get your doctorate and now you're a doctor you're gonna feel different or let's say you um, have been working on you know, an, a, side, a side interest, kind of a hobby, but something that you're really passionate about. And, but you also have, a, you know, like a day job and somebody comes along and says, hey, we love what you're doing. We wanna uh, be your agent or we want to um, help, you know, market your product on our, site, something like that, where you have this opportunity for expansion. And then you stop being this person who has this day job and you, your new identity is as this person who's pursuing your passion, whatever that is. And, you know, the other reason I say that is with balance yourself, this growth period, this new journey, this new path, this leveling up is going to affect all areas of your life. Just as I pointed out that, you know, switching from your day job to being able to focus on your special interests, your passions will change your identity. It's going to change you on multiple levels and affect many areas of your life and you know when I first drew this card that's what I thought with these different directions is that you're going to be expanding in all directions as a result of this opportunity that's coming your way and for some of you you may have already received this opportunity because we see it over here there is also a message about process your feelings in the five of athames is if this was you in the past where your craftsmanship wasn't um, appreciated or valued, your skills weren't valued by this person um, rather than, <clears throat> excuse me, You know, one path you can take is to recognize how this person not valuing your skills gave you the motivation to pursue this new path. So if you were going to say something then the card right next to it, do nothing, is, you know, wait 24 hours. You don't have to necessarily do nothing forever, but wait 24 hours um, before you send, you know, um, an angry email or something like that. And I apologize for my throat. It's that throat chakra energy that I'm picking up on. Um, and it's not that you shouldn't set healthy boundaries or say your peace but perhaps you write down what you want to say, wait 24 hours, then read what you wrote and see if you 
are coming from a place of love and growth uh, before you send it. And that's just um, a specific message for someone. It, it, it's not for everyone, but for most of you, uh, I do, or for all of you, I do see this being a very fortunate, fertile, lucky, blessed period. And whatever this new identity, this new pursuit, this new path is, it's going to allow you to expand in all areas of your life, which is amazing. I'm so happy for you. That is your message. And if you enjoyed it, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, which lets you know when new content is uploaded and it lets me know that my messages resonate. Best of luck to you on this beautiful journey. Thank you. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the Dalmatian Jasper, which can purify your environment and also helps you to distinguish friends from foes. It also protects you from destructive emotions, um, melancholy. It's a potent talisman, as well as this card be thankful gratitude appreciation harmony so let's see what area of your life is most fertile right now what area of your life is expanding i do put all of the names of the decks that I use in the description box below if that's something you are interested in. What area of life is pile number two experiencing expansion at this time? see what we have. Night Moon, Shadow Work. The Bee in Pomegranate, which is card number 26. Mouse Spirit. Tend to the small things. Card number 40. And snake, shed old skin. All right, let's draw some tarot cards so we can get some more information about what area of your life is expanding at this time. Page of Pentacles. This came up in pile number one. Six of Chalices. Five of Athames. This also came up in pile number one. And Ten of Wands. 
very interesting. I do, when I shuffle the cards, I place them in different places in the deck and shuffle them in between readings and then shuffle again uh, on camera. So it's really interesting when cards come up again. But the Page of Pentacles, you know, you're beginning to pursue something that was a hobby or special interest as a means of financial gain. And here we see this young person that has crafted this pentacle and is now imbuing it using their hands with their own magic, their own energy. They're putting, they're using their hands to put energy into something physical. And so it's a positive card and in, about your special interest or hobby, your passion, um, starting a path. Perhaps you've already begun this path and so that is the area that is expanding now. It could be something that you did as when you were younger, something you enjoyed doing when you were younger, perhaps something that you did with a parent or caregiver, uh, some adult in your life as a child that shared some kind of craft or skill, music, something that you could do together. Um, and now you are revisiting that or continuing on that path. The five of Athames is about presenting your craftsmanship, your wares to somebody who is critical, uh, somebody who doesn't, um, and maybe they're not even critical, but maybe they just don't value the skills of this person. And we see here in the background a peacock. So it's speaking of raising your standards. And the Ten of Wands is, you know, tens are about completion, so it is completing a goal. But the Ten of Wands is somebody who bears the burden, the weight of the workload themselves. So this could be somebody who micromanages, someone who feels like it's not going to get done right unless they do it which could also be this person who doesn't value other people's skills because they feel like they're the only ones that can do it right. And that's echoed in this card, Mouse Spirit, Tend to the Small Things. This is somebody, again, who micromanages and maybe even, for example, could work below their position uh, so what I mean is it could be a manager who's doing clerical work because they don't feel like the clerk is doing the work correctly. So they do the work themselves. So it's somebody that's doing a bunch of little work rather than um, delegating that work. So perhaps this is something that is happening to you which is inspiring you to go out on your own, or perhaps this is you. In any case, we do have this night moon shadow work, which speaks of um, facing your fears, facing your shadows. So what are shadows? They are those things that we hide from ourselves that 
show up in our lives unconsciously. So as an example, let's say that somebody was taught how to sew by a caregiver when they were a child, but the caregiver was very critical and uh, maybe would undo the stitches, which discouraged the child. Maybe they sometimes took it away from them and fixed it for them rather than showing them praise in the fact that a, a small child could sit there for that long and work. Um, and so then what happens is that person has their own children and they do the same thing. And so that's that shadow, even though they didn't like it as a child, um, they didn't really face and process everything that was done in a healing way so that they could move past it and then not repeat that. So that's just one example of a shadow. Another example may be um, as a result of, you know, and actually using the same example, but with a different outcome, the child then becomes a perfectionist as an adult. And, uh, you know, doesn't allow others to help, doesn't delegate, um, or nothing is ever, they never feel like they can complete something because it's not perfect. Because what they focus on is the flaws, because that's kind of what they were conditioned to do as a child when the caregiver focused on their flaws. And so what I see is that you're moving away from that in either case. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be that exact example. Um, it could be something else, but I feel that you're moving away from the shadow and you're learning to be thankful for what you do have to show gratitude and appreciation for uh, your skills raising your standards to appreciate your own skills and to recognize the skills of others and appreciate any help that um, others give you. The other thing that comes to mind is a show that I saw. Um, it's one of those shows where people meet each other and um, get married right away or maybe they meet each other with a wall between them and then they uh, live together and get married and in the show there was uh, a couple and the groom was planning a surprise special meal for the bride and he had gathered all the materials and you know, all the ingredients and was cooking for her when she got home and she inquired what he was doing. And, and, and initially she praised his efforts, but then she started to examine every step that he made and criticize everything. You know, he, he wasn't putting enough spice or he was putting too much spice or he wasn't cutting it correctly. Uh, he wasn't holding his wine glass correctly. She criticized every little thing that he did. And so that's just there for someone that popped up in my mind. Um, either that's being done to you and your shadow is overcoming um, the fear to speak up for yourself or you're perhaps the one that is uh, being critical in either case, um, showing gratitude for your own skills and for other people's uh, efforts is going to uh, bring you the harmony that you're seeking. It's That's what's expanding is harmony and your passion, your ability to um, generate resources through something that's 
Maybe you might consider a hobby, something that you're passionate about, a special interest, which is wonderful. And as you expand, as you do this shadow work, you're going to shed the old skin of whatever it was that you collected as a child, as a young person, as a result of your environment, and you're going to become your authentic self, which is amazing. And I do see this happening. I do see with the Ten of Wands, this cycle, this pattern, this belief, thought process, uh, leaving your energy and you becoming this new person because tens are about completion. And then right underneath it, we have the snake shed old skin. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that the Dalmatian stone also uh, increases the feeling of parental love. So again, this has to do with this card and nostalgia and childhood and things that perhaps you did with parents or caregivers and the shadow work because you know the, our shadows are something that are developed at a very young age from our environment the bee and pomegranate productivity is again um working busy as a bee, right? So I do see that you are a hard worker with the 10 of wands and 10 to the small things, the five of athames. I see that you are skilled and uh, talented. And this is something that you're willing to put in a lot of work to achieve. The pomegranate has very thick skin and once you can get past that thick skin, it's full of seeds. It's just bursting with seeds. So you have so much potential for growth at this time. And so perhaps there is a message of developing thicker skin. If somebody does um, uh, maybe make constructive criticism, it may be activating these childhood wounds of being criticized by a caregiver or a parent. So that's not for everyone. That's a specific message for someone. But in any case, I do see no matter which examples apply to you or energies apply to you, I do see that at this time, what's expanding is your authentic self, which is creating harmony in your life and allowing you to pursue this creative endeavor that you're passionate about and the shedding of your old skin, the healing of your shadow, embracing your shadow and recognizing what part it's played in you and how it's helped you to perfect your craftsmanship. So a huge spiritual leap in your spiritual journey, which is going to affect how you feel, how you express yourself in the world, how you're seeing your relationships and your ability to generate income. So that's awesome. I'm so excited for you. What a wonderful, wonderful message. And that is your message. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, which lets you know when more content is uploaded. And it lets me know that these messages resonate. Best of luck to you and your creative endeavors. Thank you. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You chose the crystal Amazonite, which has a lot of um, powers and it is especially associated with money, overall success, fortune, luck, and you also chose the Family Connections card, Respect, People, and Kinship. So we'll see how those two energies combined play into the rest of your message. 
All right, I'm gonna draw some oracle cards and I do put the names of all the decks that I use in the description box below if that's something you're interested in. What area is pile number three experiencing expansion at this time? What area is pile number three experiencing expansion at this time? transformation that looks so powerful and the ram and dahlia determination Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. This came out in the last pile. In this, well, I guess they're gonna come out in the same position because I'm using different decks, but it's interesting because when I do shuffle, I, I put them in the middle of the deck and shuffle in between readings and then shuffle again on camera. White witch, be the light. Beautiful. Let's draw some tarot cards. What area of life is pile number one experiencing expansion at this time? All right, we have Queen of Athames. and Knight of Pentacles. Doesn't this look like the same bird? Wow, how interesting. The green man. And four of chalices. And look at this dragonfly, which is a symbol of transformation. And we got the card transformation. Amazing. I see an expansion in your personal power. The Queen of Athames is somebody that's capable of working alone. They have the intellect and analytical, logical mind and skill set to be able to accomplish things on their own and then you have the knight of pentacles here and we see this figure on the horse setting out to their next career adventure so 
perhaps you are moving from working alone to working with others, or it's just some sort of <laughs> level up um, in your career path. Definitely there is a new career adventure on the horizon and perhaps you're already aware of it. Um, I do see as this person who's very intelligent and capable of working alone. So maybe, you know, in modern times, this could be somebody who um, is able to work from their computer at home, for example, which has many benefits. Uh, the only downside would, would be, you know, some kind of isolation perhaps and maybe that is something that you've been feeling. And we do have family connections here, which, you know, there's the biological family and there's also um, the chosen family. And so you are being called to spend more time with those people that support you, encourage you, love you, whether it's your biological family or your chosen family. And we see that also reflected here in um, the Green Men. When we look at the Four of Chalices, we see a figure who has their back turned on a visitor. And you know, when we look at these two cards together, we see this knife, which could be cutting cords or severing ties, cutting away something that uh, isn't working for you or serving your highest good. So you don't need to spend time with people that um, aren't encouraging you, supporting you, and treating you with the respect that you deserve. There's definitely though, uh, an expansion in your career. And with the Queen of Athens and the mouse spirit tend to small things. Again, I see that you're this person that's able to achieve um, whatever you want on your own, but perhaps there is a way for you to connect with others so that you don't experience isolation. And perhaps for some of you, there is a need to sever ties with a relationship, whether it's the biological family or some other relationship, it's okay. You know, not we can't all have a uh, the the kind of relationship that we want with our biological family. So just know that that is okay. If that is something that you're feeling, that's not for everyone. But maybe somebody needed to hear that, and and know that you have the abilities to uh, make it on your own and not only just survive, but to thrive on your own. And for others, this is, you know, uh, an expansion in your personal power as it relates to how you receive resources in your life, in your career, how you create what you need in your life. I want to read to you what um, the Moon Magic Transformation card says in the guidebook. As we move through life, we can aim high or low. For example, when it comes to your current situation, you can hope for small changes or you can aim for massive transformation that takes everyone involved to the next level. There is magic afoot. Even if you can't feel it, you have the power to transform your life. Believe that whatever you're going through right now is what you have to experience to get where you want to go. 
a romantic situation can get better than ever when you draw this card. But do allow the universe to show you who the romance will be with. It could be with your current partner or someone else, but transformation is possible. If you're asking about abundance, know that the transformation is possible in this regard too. Either way, you have to believe in your powers and your ability to shape your life. Once you do that, align with the moon cycles, set intentions at the new moon, and do release work at the full moon, and watch your life transform. You've got the power. And we see here with White Witch, be the light. This is somebody who is focusing on... Um, what is going to serve the highest good for all, for themselves and those around them. Somebody who focuses on the light, somebody who appreciates the good in others and in themselves and acts from a place of love, bringing light to dark situations. And that's you. That's you expanding your power, not only financially, but spiritually and emotionally, which is amazing. And I see that you have with the Ram and Dahlia, the determination to accomplish your goals, whatever they be, whether they're romantic or financial. And for some of you, it may be both. Um, you know, the ram is this animal that can climb mountains and the Dahlia is called the queen of the garden. So we have this flower that's the queen and we have the queen of Athens. And it's called that because it can bloom for months. And so it endures, it has the determination to continue to blossom. And that's you. You have that determination to transform and to become this even better version of yourself to take this new adventure, this new career adventure that is on the horizon. And of course, the green man is also talking about adventure. So I see this being a very positive thing and it leading to transformation. What just came to my mind looking at this picture because we see somebody at the door and we see the dragonfly has flown in, which is the energy of transformation, right? So perhaps there's something that has already been offered to you that you haven't accepted or something that you're not seeing, something that you um, haven't um, believed maybe that it would have the power uh, to transform your life in the way that you like, but you have the power, you know, you have the power to make your life what you want it to be because your personal power is what is expanding at this time. So whether again, this is in relationships or career or both, you have the power, determination, strength, experience, wisdom to see this through and accomplish and achieve that which you want to achieve. Remember that the Amazonite is about fortune and luck and success. So luck is on your side at this time. And I see this great expansion in your personal power, which is amazing. I feel, I feel the strength and the power within you just amplified, which is absolutely beautiful. That is your message. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel, which lets you know when a new video is uploaded and it lets me know that my messages are resonating. Best of luck in this wonderful adventure. Thank you.
拜。